Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. This is a good one, a big one. Isaac for 30. That's not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. We're Isaac, we start with the D6. We start with the 07ED Q4Z7. I gotta admit, feeling good, feeling strong. Almost fucked over the last run with a hilarious, in my opinion, at least a Suicide King play, but uh, only dipped a little bit. It never let me slip, because if I slip, then I'm slipping. We all know that old story by now. Um, <clears throat> one mistake early here. Definitely should have re-rolled uh, uh, how to jump after picking it up. However, that's okay. We got Pyro out of it. Not Pyromaniac, in case you're listening. Bombs do not heal us, but we do have a lot of them. And also Swallowed Penny. Makes it pretty conceivable that we can get to... Uh, Five cents on this floor, even if we have to hurt ourselves deliberately to do so, it might end up being worth it. And there's going to be a key, so we could pretty easily get a spirit heart. And all of a sudden, you know, the pieces are coming into place here. The Isaac flowchart is is running, uh, even though we're relatively early. And there's a tinted rock. Pays out with two spirit hearts. Fantastic. And a Hierophant card. Now we have four spirit hearts. Somebody up there likes me, man. That's all I can say. Now that's not... Uh, a guarantee that we're going to win this run by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly four spirit hearts uh, in the same room, basically on on the first floor, is a really good predictor of at least our ability to get inside of that uh, that first floor deal or second floor deal with the devil. Plus, we should be able to get all the eternal hearts that we uh, desire, and we will have a reroll left over for our. Uh, boss room if we want to get one we only need to have one more room with combat because the boss room is guaranteed to have combat on it there's six cents and two more keys wow i don't know if there's been a time in recent memory where i have had as much consumable love as this we're going to be leaving this uh, i didn't mean to pick that up now that we picked it up we might as well take everything that's okay though uh i'm gonna quickly check for our regular secret room as well it could be here it's a little weird on the first floor sometimes i think that would have found it uh, it could also be directly above us here. Could be directly below the sh Well, maybe we won't even look for it. It's a little confusing now. So this is, um... Hopefully not Bob's Rotten Head. Hopefully they give us a tarot card here, because we're going to be able to reroll the boss room. And they did indeed. High Priestess is really good. I don't think we need to buy anything from the shop. In fact, I think it's probably better for us if we don't. So we can get an arcade on the next floor. I don't know where to look for this now. It, it can't be here, right? It's also completely conceivable that I just fucked up the placement of every single one of those. I would not even say conceivable. I'd say, like, pretty likely. I'm gonna take the ball of bandages. We have a, you know, the privilege of doing so. Unlike the last floor where I was like, we need to re-roll this. Or last run, sorry. I was like, we need to re-roll this cube of meat or ball of bandages into some HP. And it actually worked out like that. Alright, Cellar 2 with a lot of money, a ton of HP, uh, and really, of course, a staggering amount of bombs. This is good. This is great, man. If we can get a deal with the devil, uh, everything could fall into place. We did that deal with the angel run last time, and we got Godhead and the soul. It worked out fantastically. Mega Satan melted, but, you know, I would very much... There are two of them in there. I would very much like if we could just have a traditional, you know... Spend all your HP on a deal with the devil, and then ball out of control damage-wise from the very beginning. That would be great, but definitely I can't deny that it looks like we're having a pretty good start here. I don't want to sound overly cocky, but I'm getting a little scared of the fact that we keep winning, and maybe people are going to be like, Ugh, this is getting stale. Northern Line never loses now. I'm doing my part, man. Almost every time there's a run reroll available, I'm taking it. I'm trying to mix it up. I'm not trying to lose, but I'm trying to I'm trying to win in more interesting ways. We've been doing way more angel rooms lately, but I I can't deny that, you know, luck's been on my side and you know, I all I can do really is tap into that. I'm trying to build a build a moment here, Cal Ripken Jr. Anything going on here? Maybe, maybe not. A lot of uh, annoying rooms. These enemies, you know, for all the benefits that we have thus far, we're still not doing really that much in terms of our actual uh damage so it would be nice to pick up maybe two damage upgrades here but let's not get overly concerned about that oh that very nearly worked that one actually did work finish him off with our tears oh don't talk dirty baby okay well we got some HP finish him off with my tears definitely the pact and 
I mean, I guess we should take these. It's a rare situation to be in where your first deal with the devil puts you in a position where you're like, well, I'm already at the HP cap. Should I take these black hearts? You should. You should take those black hearts. Um, Pact is not a run winner by itself, but a really, really nice item that uh, I'm happy to, to welcome into the fold here. Thanks a lot. Punches over there in the corner. We have... Uh, this is a swanky party for our 30th uh, potential win here. So not only do we have, like, you know, crackers, which are already the food of the rich, but we actually did the recipes on the back of the cracker box. You know how you look at a box of Ritz crackers and it's like, hey, you know, just put some smoked salmon and a sprig of fresh mint on there and then a little bit of cream cheese and there you go. That's It's not just a box of crackers now, you got a meal. We got that, man. We major. I don't know what that means. Oh, how could we not? I mean, Mr. Mega is not one of the premier secret room items. There's so, so many good secret room items. But now we have 89 Mega Bombs. If they weren't great before, they're going to be great now, man. We can use these offensively for basically any purpose that, you know, we could imagine. Unicorn Horn is re-rollable, and Stigmata is a great pickup. Pushes uh, Blackheart out of the way, I think, but uh, the extra damage is well worth it. We'll look for our second secret room as well, and... Oh, I would re-roll this run. It's early enough that I could justify it. Thank you for not making me, though. I appreciate that. This might get all three. I think it will. Cricket's head? Uh, Abel. Have we been to our shop? We have not been to our shop yet, because I didn't have that much money, I guess. But we could pretty easily get some more. Can't even pick up the Spirit Hearts this early. That's kind of crazy. Why, do I, why am I talking about the shop? Because I want to, uh... I hope this is fairly obvious, but I don't want to pick up Abel. If I could uh, possibly not pick up Abel, I think that would make my life a little bit better. There's no rerolls in here, though. So, we're stuck with it. Um, I don't really want BOGO bombs, to be honest with you. So, we'll go back and pick up Abel. It's almost not even, in my opinion, worth the backtracking right now. No offense, Abel. No offense, Ment. But, uh... Okay. I don't know. I feel like it might find a crawl space here. It was worth a shot, maybe. It probably was literally not worth a shot, but that's okay. And I think we're okay to keep, um, Swallowed Penny. It's not my favorite trinket. That versus Mom's Eye or Kane's Eye, I guess that one is. Um, I'm like, I'm of two minds about it. It would be nice to have the compass ability, like the mapping ability from uh, Kane's Eye. But it's also not super relevant to our interests right now. Neither is the second secret room, which is why I gave up the idea of searching for that. We don't need anything the second secret room can give us, basically. Unless I'm mistaken about things. Probably should not use a bomb on every room. I mean, let's keep in mind, we just picked up the Pact and uh, Stigmata. Neither of them are huge damage upgrades, but both of them are damage upgrades. I want to make sure I'm keeping well practiced with my tiers here. But again, we should use our bombs offensively. Just maybe cut it back a little bit, you know? One bomb per room is probably going to lead to us... Uh, Having no bombs. But hopefully by that point we'll have more tiers, I guess. Or, or better tiers. Or more tiers, you know, if we get a tiers up, that's fine. A couple of bombs here seems smart. And we got one back. I guess I didn't account for the fact that our, you know, rate will constantly be increasing as well. Hopefully this will speed it up a little bit. I, I can't deny it. I would like to do boss rush. We haven't had that many opportunities to do so lately. That's going to be rerolled. This is going to be bombed out of here. Thank you, Mr. Mega, for making that pretty easy. Um, we, we broke even. Not a huge get either way. But our shop. Our shop is where we turn this all around. PhD and a reroll. So yeah, we definitely get PhD. And I'm so happy we have this Joker card. I'm sorry, Donation Machine. PhD gives us... Lemon party. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Now we get ready to hopefully use a, a bunch of rerolls. Well, if necessary, a bunch of rerolls on um, Bum Friend. First, though, our Deal with the Devil shenanigans here. And they will be Deal with the Devil shenanigans because of the Joker card. Should have taken Lemon Party in here. Lemon Party, like, hard counters the shit out of Mega Fatty. Taking some damage, and it's damage I should not be taking. I would find it. I was gonna. This is going to sound like revisionist history. I was going to say, it will be crazy to me if we don't get uh, Magic Mushroom on this run. We got Magic Mushroom on that very room. 
That's ridiculous. Okay, um, what's worse, bum friend or a range upgrade? Yes. Probably bum friend. We can at least use the range upgrade. Let's Joker right now, though, because we can. And this is fine by me, yeah. Fight Krampus, uh, and another good opportunity for a reroll, honestly, if it gives me Krampus's head. And a 72 bombs, that's still pretty decent. Lump of coal will take. Synergizes decently with the range upgrade. Go on, Liberty Cap or Swallowed Penny? I still want Swallowed Penny in case we get uh, super pleased about that damage, as you can probably guess. I still want Swallowed Penny in case it gives us the uh, uh, an arcade, then we can make really good use of it. So this is just stellar, man. I'm going to explore the entirety of the floor. I think that's more important than, uh, than focusing on boss rush right now. Just, you know, stick to the fundamentals for now and it's working out nicely. Blow up these in the hopes of getting, I don't know, maybe like another... Well, a rune is good, for potentially at least. Pagalaz, maybe not the best, but it's okay. We'll use our Hagalaz rune, probably on like a big room. Is it, what's better, Hagalaz rune or Lemon Party? I mean, 90% of the time, Lemon Party, but... I can't deny that there's something... Like a romantic notion in my head of like using the Hagalaz rune right here, getting a crawl space or black market. Nah, no, it didn't work out. That's okay. That's okay. We were very spoiled by our damage on the last run. Uh, it it was incredible. Pheromones. Uh, it was incredible and has me feeling like even though we're on the third floor and we have magic mushroom and the pact and stigmata. Has me feeling somehow like we're underpowered right now, but we'll get over that hopefully. There are worse rooms, you know, that was not amazing, but there are worse rooms. Pheromones we can't really do anything with, so let's just get it out of here. And what do you think? Do we reroll? Do we pay five cents? I hate myself right now. Do we uh, pay five cents to reroll uh, range upgrade? I don't see why not. Why not take little baggy? I don't like little baggy. That's the. The long and short of that one right there. I think Little Baggy, uh, well, it would ruin all runes and all tarot cards for the rest of the game. I'm, I think this is fine. You know, you might say we don't need HP and you'd probably be right, but I think this is good. I didn't want to spend much more than this, though, because, like, the reason I blew up the, the donation machine to begin with is because I was like, I want an arcade on the next floor. We can get, like, unlimited money, not technically, but, you know, sort of from the arcade on the next floor with Swallowed Penny. All right, we got keys. Let's try it. I appreciate not making me reroll the the whole run. I'm still gonna check every time. Decent room uh, for lemon party. Very nearly got hit twice, and probably would have deserved at least one of those. But it's okay. Okay, what's our uh, what's our go-to items now to ask for? Sagittarius, Cupid's arrow. Uh, when you have a lot of damage on your tiers, you can stop asking for damage and ask for the secondary effects. Which is what we would really benefit from right now. More bomb synergies would be hilarious. Like, uh, sad bombs or... Well, sad bombs plus cooler tier effects, I guess. Let's check this out because we have a uh, PhD. Well, worth it already. And that should make it even better. Assuming that's secret room? No. Yeah, no, it's still secret room. It's just uh, in a weird position here. That's okay. Um... Yeah, more bomb synergies. Not Dr. Fetus, though, please. <laughs> Not Curse of the Blind Dr. Fetus would be ideal as well. I don't know. And just more damage as well would be would be good. I mean, we have some, but we could always use more. Hematomesis is great if we find a blood bank. Scorpio is good, man. Really makes our future sad bombs pick up that much better. I'm hoping against hope it's going to happen. Key for a spirit heart. You know, I don't think it's that important right now. I think our keys might be more valuable in case we pick up like a guppy's guppy something or something. Guppy's tail. We haven't become guppy in a little while. I mean, we were insulated from it because we picked up mulligan in like our second or maybe even our first item room on the last run. Uh, but we haven't become guppy in a long time. A lot of, a lot of angel rooms. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's another I can see forever pill. And we definitely want to blow up these. It's the perfect situation. We have uh, a lot. Uh, we probably could have gotten six there, but whatever. We already did get six. That's kind of a bad haul. Um, we're we have a lot of bombs, and we have PhD, and we have uh, magic mushrooms. So we're getting a lot of pills out of these situations if we want to. Uh, I think 
We re-roll these. Yeah, okay. And then, I'm very sorry about this. As always, but uh, I'm gonna blow you up again. And we'll pick up Sharp Plug. With a lot of HP, Sharp Plug seems very, very potent. I'm gonna use it right away. I know it cost us there. Uh, but that's what I figured, is that our, our room would be right up here. And I was a little concerned, and I think rightfully so, that we would get a charge on our D6 and then be unable to use a sharp plug. Because you can only use it when you're at zero. Zero charges, that is. Man, I can see forever is just out of control right now. So the hollow is basically meaningless, I think, uh, with Lemon Party. Doesn't do anything. We can afford to check it because we're going to be taking I can see forever after this anyway. A little bit more valuable. Saves me some time, at least. Pentagram is uh, non-re-rollable. And these are super re-rollable. Abaddon, Lord of the Pit. Long story short, yes. <laughs> that sharp plug. I mean, we could have also just explored, but that sharp plug pickup is all of a sudden looking, looking pretty nice. You know what? Let's do it again. I know it cost us two there. We can pretty easily come back here and at least get one of those back. Um, just in case we got something we want to reroll right away, I'd rather have a full charge waiting for it. Pheromones, I can see forever. We're not going to do boss rush on this run. It's it's basically not possible. Gemini, it's good, but could it be better? Yes. Oh, now I've done it. I think we're stuck with Sister Maggie. I would rather have Gemini than Sister Maggie. But, uh, you know, I, I made my bed and now I'm going to lie in it, basically. What do I want on this run now? Well, more spirit hearts uh, would not be the worst thing in the world now that I've, uh, you know, thrown away like seven or eight of them on this floor. I'm starting to realize, don't you always uh, seem to know that you don't know what you got till it's gone? They paved over our spirit hearts and, and they didn't really give us much in return, really. Well, that's debatable, I guess. Speed is out of control now, too. Spirit, not spirit hearts. That's all right. All right, up to the next floor, down to the next floor, whatever you want to describe it as. No tinted rocks here. I'm not nervous about our HP. Our damage should be so good, but uh, I'll, I'll admit that you know maybe I took it a step too far with our with our shenanigans here. That's nice. We don't want red candle. Ah, uh, you know we could do with like a charge and then rerolling this. And fanny packs too expensive, so. We'll do this. Fanny pack. It's okay. And then what about this one? More. I need uh, five more cents, please. I want to get that pill. I want to know what that pill is. Paralysis? Ah, what a ripoff. Okay. Down to the next floor. Slightly nervous, but our damage is very good. Perfect temperature on that coffee. It really warms the cockles of my heart. Oh, yeah, right. We have 61 bombs, and we're coming down to Skull Land here. Great opportunity for us to get, uh... We should use that as well. Great opportunity for us to get, uh... Spirit Hearts. Well, not Spirit Hearts, but Demon Hearts. Or Spirit Hearts via the, um... Oh, Tinted Rock. Via the, uh... Hierophant card. Somewhat unlikely, though. And we have a long-range attack in the form of that bomb, which is really nice. So I think, you know, there's two ways to use the Emperor card here. One of them is probably better. The best way to use the Emperor card is to hold it and then use it on, uh, maybe the Womb 1 or potentially on the Cathedral. Either one of those would be fine. The way that I'm going to do it is probably as soon as I get a reroll available, I'll use it on the... I'll use it right now on this floor. Look, I, I gotta tell you that I do want that 9 volt, but now that I think about it, and I'm glad I didn't have the money to buy it, because I would have bought it instantly, we shouldn't buy the 9 volt. Oh, that's so good. The soul again. Uh, we shouldn't buy the 9 volt, because it'll ruin Sharp Plug. Maybe ruining Sharp Plug is good for my health long term, but uh, we're gonna stay away from it for now. Alright, that's so much money. We could get Blue Candle or something, but I think now we're just gonna use the Emperor. Fight War, I didn't realize we were so close. We could have definitely saved the Emperor card, but hey, that's, you know... That's Isaac. What was that supposed to do? Well, smartass, the bomb was supposed to hit him. It didn't work out, but you don't have to be uh, facetious about it. Contract from below is probably worth taking. Then we'll reroll the other two. 
I don't want any of them. I mean, I kind of want Guppy's tail, but I kind of, I don't, and I don't really want a sharp plug. It's a little risky, but I'll do it. And now things get very interesting. Don't fucking blow it. <laughs> Don't fucking blow it. All you need is like one spirit heart. One black heart. Let's take the shortcut back. There could have been a spirit heart for sale in that shop. I'm nervous. Why did I do this? So risky. There's no spirit heart. You dummy. What about this? Explosive diarrhea? Hive mind. Well, we should take hive mind. Okay. Well, don't accidentally press the space bar now. You're going to be in for a bad time. Open this. Open the shit out of it. Oh, my lord. Okay. I mean, I, I think we have to roll with this, honestly. I, for now, at least. I want to... We don't have... Oh, Jesus. Don't make me do this. <laughs> don't make me do it. Oh, we freed them. That's actually good. I think this is still good. I know that my decision seems idiotic. This is our room, though. This is the room where we can blow these guys all up. Oh, a black heart. That, that won't get them. Okay, well, we'll check down here and up here. Oh, two spirit hearts. Okay, all of a sudden, everything is forgiven. Now, do we stick with the D6 or do we stick with Tammy's head? Or the nail, I guess. Um, honestly, I think we buy 9-volt Tammy's head. And all of a sudden, we just steamroll the shit out of this. We should deactivate Sharp Plug, because I can't be trusted with it, clearly. Um, we could do something with Monkey's Paw. but I, I think that 9-volt Sharp Plug... Or, sorry, <laughs> wow. 9-volt um, Tammy's head might be the proper way to handle this at this point. Our damage is really, really good. I think we gotta learn to say goodbye to the D6. I don't think you can uh, deny that I at least... M oh, not very smart. I don't think you can deny that I at least made good use of the uh, sharp plug this time. Our damage is fantastic. fantastic. Good use might be a little bit subjective, I suppose. But use... I think we do it. It's very debatable. Very, very debatable. Um, but... I like it, man. And if we're going to kill every room in one hit except for bosses, I think that's really going to help out our survivability. That almost worked. No tinted rock on this room? Hero font. Double, uh, double cherry. That's okay. You're not all dead. There's a second secret room. Like an eternal heart here would be so good. Dark bum. <laughs> At any point, dark bum would also be great. It's all right. We're still uh, we're still strong here. We're just strong in a different way. Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Quite scared. A little. I shouldn't say quite scared. I'm a little anxious. I'm more anxious than I was uh, a while ago. And it's it's because I made these decisions. So maybe this anxiety is like it's a positive feeling. It's a feeling of you know personal growth. But. Well, what did I say? You know, I'm, I'm trying to win in interesting ways, and this is an interesting way. Probably a secret room here, if I had to guess. One fresh bomb. We gotta be looking for tinted rocks. It's not my strong suit, but uh, there's no... Oh, well, that was dumb. There's no better way to learn. Okay, maybe don't run directly into the enemy. Come on. What we need on this floor, not greed on our shop. That would be a huge help. Halo of Flies is, well, we can't reroll anyway at this point. Halo of Flies is very helpful. This room scares the shit out of me. We're lucky we killed everything before it could fire. Because enemies that um, can shoot, and basically whether you're near them or not, they can get you. That's where, uh, that's where things are going to be riskiest, I think. Got them all. Death card. Death card's alright, but 
What's our other one? Chariot? Hierophant, Hierophant. Empress. Empress is pretty good. That's probably the better one for us. Oh, this is the room, man. This is the room where it all it all comes apart or it all comes together. Okay. Gotta extinguish those. Should be able to get the six or eight in one hit. Oh, come on with that shit. One black heart is very, very meaningful. Judgment. Blow him up. No remorse. Did I take Guppy's Tail? I don't think I took Guppy's Tail, but we got a Hierophant out of that. So good. But well, we don't need Swallowed Penny, so we should take... Whew, we should take this. And all of a sudden, we've, we've weaseled our way back into this a little bit. Haven't seen our shop yet. The shop is, is very important on this run. As is the Polaroid, actually. I'm, I'm stoked that the Polaroid's gonna be showing up. That invincibility can be very worthwhile. Um, no Spirit Heart. Okay. Do we know the pill? Speed up. Probably worth it. Alrighty. But I think we should explore some more. I thought about fighting the boss right away, but I think we should explore more because, uh... You know, it, every, uh, every rock is a chance for us to get a Spirit Heart or a Black Heart. You know, there's... Situations like that, and I know that one didn't necessarily work out, but uh, every red chest is a chance to get two spirit hearts, or you know, I don't know, Guppy's paw. Not that we would necessarily uh, run with Guppy's paw at this point. Every tarot card can be the hero font, theoretically. No tinted rocks. All right, well that's the end of this floor, uh, except for our seek. No, we already found our secret room. Yeah, that's the end of this floor. That's okay. Um, I'm, I'm happy we got the spirit arts we did, and to the best of my knowledge, we didn't take any damage. What's our, our go-to be-all, end-all, win the game for sure, not even have to be anxious anymore item? It's Dark Bomb, without a doubt. Respawning, you know, a, a nine lives pickup would be great. I would take it without a doubt. That's also very helpful. Even though it'll ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility, I think we're in a position where, like, raw HP is is the most important thing. I thought that might get the kill in one hit if we got right next to her, but whatever. Red Mom's gonna be super simple. And we're done. Didn't even have to use the Empress card. No Tinted Rock that I can see. Down to the next floor and certainly a nerve-wracking situation. We have six. Keep an eye out on that. Six HP. Luckily, a very easy number to keep track of. Not as easy as one, but that's okay. I think I'll live. And we're really just trying to bum rush the boss. The curse room is very meaningful if I can get into a secret room near it, but it doesn't appear that I'll be able to. Still got 49 bombs. Very doable uh, for blowing up uh, secret room chances and... Maybe even, uh, just random rocks to try to find HP. That was not smart, but it worked out. <laughs> this could be our secret room. Dark Bomb, man. There's like 10 red hearts on this level already. That might be a slight exaggeration. You get the idea, though. Probably a terrible use of uh, Guppy's head there, but it's all good. Our damage is so good. Every spirit heart means so much to us. If you could just give us like another three, I think we could coast on that for the entirety of the game. Explosive diarrhea is not that. The good news is we get double hero font cards, or at least I think we do, thanks to uh Contract from below. I was like curse of the unknown. My brain was having some trouble there. Lemon party. It's okay, but we're gonna kill everything with a space bar hit anyway, so. I don't think it's necessary to take Lemon Party. Empress a little bit better for bosses. Almost everything with a space bar hit. Anyway, okay, here we are. Try for an HP upgrade here. That's not our second secret room, much to my surprise. This one is. And that's extremely valuable. If we can get out of this floor without getting hit once, I am going to be over the moon. And we did it. Should get a deal with the devil as well. Okay, so we have two red hearts and... We start with six, we got two. It's two red hearts, six spirit hearts. I can't. I can't. Even with Nun's Habit, I can't. Or not Nun's Habit, Nine Volt. I have to stick with what we got. It's it's what's allowing us to do what we're doing here. 
Alright, HP is looking good. Again, I guess thank you for not making me reroll. And dare I suggest there is a tinted rock up here. Small rock. When I want uh, small rock, I get spirit arts. When I want spirit arts, I get small rock. But hey, it's good either way. It's still a great payout. And this is going to make my killing power that much better. Run's becoming a little bit of a one-trick pony, but yeah, as long as that trick gets us through, that's okay. And I'm starting to realize that I should really fucking cool it on the gimmicks. <laughs> uh, like, the, the sharp plug spam the shit out of uh, the D6 and then lose all of your HP put me in a very tricky situation here. Sun card beats Empress? Yeah, I think probably. Um, that's not going to be a secret room, unfortunately. I, I should probably, on our next run, depending on who we get, you never know, it could be the Lost, right? But I should probably, on our next run, just relax and, you know, play the run the simple way. The way that's gotten me this far. But where's the fun in that, you know? There's also something to be said for pushing the envelope and being like, Hey! I shouldn't be alive, but we are. Another speed up never hurt. I, uh, I don't know what to say about that one. I'm disappointed in myself. Just walked right into the enemy. I was like, we can get in there and then uh, kill them all with a space bar hit, but I just ran right into the enemy. Not a very smart uh, bit of damage there. Especially considering with just a space bar use, I could probably... I don't think Bombs of Key means anything for us here. We could, we could probably do it anyway. I like the idea of trying to find like an HP upgrade here. Again, Dark Bomb, man. Oh well. Maybe next time, in another life where we are both cats. Second secret room? Man, there's not really great second secret room locations. Uh, here? Oh man, I gotta say, these second secret rooms might be winning the day for me. This, this might be the difference between life and death. So it lives, should not be too, too bad. We've already messed with it. We got the soul to, to push these shots away. And we do have a, a second Tammy's head in like a minute here. We got lucky to be able to find a little corridor to sneak through. And we'll head up to the next floor. I'm still a little nervous though. Um, at this point, I was originally thinking the sun is like a... Uh, well, I would like to say that a girl is like a sunburn. Is what Third Eye Bly would... Third Eye Bly! Third Eye Blind would say there. But then I'd say, Third Eye Blind, what are you doing here? Get out of here, Third Eye Blind. It's not 1999 anymore. But now I've got some HP, so I'm thinking actually we probably end up using the sun card as like a... Uh, a full health because we have I mean we might have four HP by the next floor I would like to say the compass is a Sun card. Whoa, that's deep man Check for a secret room Curse rooms have been look I'm not complaining. I'm very happy that we're alive right now, but the curse rooms have been in some suboptimal uh, locations when it comes to getting in there without having to spend HP anyway. I know it would only cost us one Spirit Heart, but... It still doesn't seem worth it. That was an accident. Sometimes I like I see people asking, they're like, Whoa, why did Northern Lion like leave that room there and then come back in quickly? And I'm like, you know, just walked out by accident. I, had, I have more speed upgrades than I realized. I wasn't trying to trick people into thinking that I got some kind of secret Isaac technique. I try to, uh, you know, very quickly uh, not... Uh, quickly in terms of my speech, but occasionally, you know, enunciate what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Including, like, hey, you know, I walked into the spice because I'm an idiot, you know? I'll even diagnose myself as we play. Lucky Rock doesn't do much for us. Library? It, it, pretty much exactly what I'm hoping for. Book of Revelations in here. Um, I don't think Book of Shadows is worth it. And the Bible's definitely not worth it for us here, but uh, Book of Shadows could be worth it. We get to use it like once every three rooms. But I don't know, Tammy said it kills rooms so quickly, I think it saves us a lot of... Uh, it, it makes our HP much larger than it actually is. Effectively, it's much larger than it actually is, you know? It's like, you might not be a millionaire, you might only have like, uh, you know, $500 in your bank account, but depending on where you live in the world, that can buy you a lot, you know? Even though we ain't got money... That can buy a house in Burundi. Okay, that's the best I could do. I had to find a country 
that rhymed with money, okay? If you're from Burundi, if you're a Burundian national, I apologize. I don't know very much about your country, and it was wrong to use it as the butt of a joke there. But mostly the joke was that it rhymed, and I mean no offense by it. Let's, uh, let's go hard here and hopefully pick up, uh... Enough spirit arts to win us the game, or uh, a better trinket, but uh, that's pretty good too. But I, honestly, I, I still think we're better off with Tammy's head because we can just use the sun card as a compass and map if we want to. Tammy's head basically like having an, an active version of the tick. No life steal, but it replenishes multiple times per boss fight. So, or at least theoretically replenishes multiple times per boss fight. Yo, where's the angel feet? Is his dog? He's like, oh, this is a lost cause. I don't want to bring anybody else into this shit heap. I did take damage there. That's definitely on me. Now we have to think, what's what's more likely to what's likely to save us the most HP? Knowing exactly where to go from the get-go, or getting two HP back from the sun card. It's a it's a bit of a tough call. I think I'm just gonna use it as a Necronomicon plus compass. We have no curse here, which is very nice. Uh, anemia, that's okay. Sad bombs, finally. Book of Shadows, turns out we should have really picked that up when it showed up. Um, and we, we got some bomb synergies. It's, it's not bad. We gotta move. <laughs> that could have that could have gone better. We didn't get hit, though. Alright, so this is the wrong way. I'm thinking those sad bombs, considering we have 61 hot Mr. Mega sad bombs, I'm pretty sure that these are gonna do an awful lot of damage. Let's try it on for size. Basically, we don't need Tammy's head anymore. We could roll Book of Shadows instead, but I like having both of them for just, like, insane killing power. Yeah, that's one sad bomb plus one Tammy's head takes out pretty much anything here. So this is gonna be a win, and uh, there were there were some times where I was a little scared that it wouldn't, but uh, this, this one's gonna turn out just fine. Mr. Boom. A uh, Concussive Tears Spoonbender is actually fantastic here. A little bit of a damage up plus uh, Spoonbender. I don't know how that'll work with Sad Bombs, but... Seemed to do a decent job there. There's our second secret room. Yeah, we're, we're set here. I mean, I love Sad Bombs and, and Death's Touch in general. It, this has worked out nicely. Might as well take the Cancer Trinket. I think we're gonna be totally fine. Explosive Diarrhea plus Sad Bombs, does this work? Doesn't seem like it. We're done. Alright, that's gonna be 30 wins, so now we basically just pray to the random gods that we don't get the loss next time. That was a really fun run. A little scary, but really fun. If you enjoyed the run, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.